Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. If this is the first time you're seeing me, God bless you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray that God is going to use this channel to minister to you prophetically and help you know God better, give you prophetic direction and counseling in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do that. And please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that each time God gives us a prophetic word you will be the first to know you don't want to miss out you don't know when god will be speaking to you directly hallelujah glory to god someone is ready to kill just to cover their tracks someone is ready to take you out or ready to commit murder just to cover their tracks it doesn't matter you you might think that you are very righteous until you find yourself in a compromising situation and sometimes when you're in that place you might not think right except there is someone there to bring you to order you might not think right you might find yourself just doing the wrong things and you know two wrongs do not make a right perhaps you were doing a wrong thing and you find yourself in a situation where you have to do another wrong thing just to cover your tracks. Whenever you find yourself in that position, it's better for you to pull back and trust God. You know, that is the same thing that happened to David. David was a man who loved God. He believed in God and he loved God. The Bible says he was a man after God's heart. It's not like God kept him in a special place. No, he was the one that kept running after the heart of God. He wanted to know God. He loved God so much. But there was a day when he was weak. The Bible says kings were going for battle and he decided not to go just for that one day. He was walking at the rooftop when he saw Bathsheba taking her bath. And he fell, you know, he got interested in Bathsheba. And it's, it's, good. it's going to interest you to know Bathsheba was a married woman. And so he fell with Bathsheba. And something happened. You, you, Uriah, who was Bathsheba's husband, had to come back home. And David tried to cover his tracks by causing, by sending Uriah, I'm always having a difficulty pronouncing that name, to go and lay with his wife. But Uriah refused to do that because they were actually in battle. He just came back to do something. They were actually at war. He did not want to give himself that pleasure. And so David, in a bit to cover his track, had to kill Uriah just to cover him his track. Guess what? It is true that when it came to the knowledge of David, he repented, he cried, asked God for forgiveness. But there was a repercussion. There was a repercussion. Yes, God forgave him, but there was a word that was pronounced and his family was never the same. Do you know who became David's greatest enemy? His own son, biological son, Absalom. As a matter of fact, disaster struck in his family. The son started sleeping with his daughter. I mean, everything became a calamity. And his son rose and became his greatest enemy. God might forgive you, but the repercussions of your actions will come after you. So two wrongs will never make a right. If you found yourself in a bad situation the first time, please try as much as you can not to try to fix that mistake by committing another mistake because the repercussions will be enormous. It's better you repent when it is early enough. It is better you repent when the crime is less grievous than for you to, you know, try to cover your tracks and instead get into more trouble. Hallelujah. God might love you so much, care about you so much, but you are going to have to deal with the consequences of your actions. And I do not want that to be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. May God help you that even in your down moments, you are going to do right by him. Even when you are down, you are not going to do things that is going to cost your future happiness. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. I love you so much. I will see you in the next video. Shalom.